today we are day three on the cruise and we are in Cabo San Lucas. So excited. It was so cute. Even though we weren't, weren't really on the water that long, I guess to like a day and a half, kind of two days, um, when the kids saw land, they got so excited. They're like, what? Land? <laughs> because all we've seen is ocean. So that was really fun. All the boats are lining up to come get us. They're setting up the little dock to get off. Um, it is a absolute beautiful day. We are going to lather with sunscreen. Luckily, none of us have gotten to burn. Like I have like a little tiny red there and my chest is a little bit red, but I actually didn't even put sunscreen on yesterday. And before you guys yell at me, we don't see sun for six months out of the year. Um, yesterday was not very warm. It was like 60 something. And we did not go out into the sun for hours on end. We kind of went out, we were out there for like an hour. We came back in, um, rested, went back out. It was just, it was like the perfect amount of sun for all of us. We all need to just absorb all the uh, vitamin D that we can. <laughs> Today's treat for our room attendant is a raspberry dark chocolate from Alaska Candy Company. Currently waiting for a number to be called. We're just hanging out. Stairwell. Group number 19, right? And I think they're, they've already called 16 and 17, so we should be here pretty soon. were a little bit overwhelming I'm just gonna be real okay because we've never been here before I've never been to the to the port here in um, Cabo San Lucas it was just very overwhelming and I felt like I just had to keep my kids really close and so we walked around and we kept thinking we were gonna hit a beach or something and we just kept hitting more people trying to sell us stuff and we probably had um, I don't know probably 40 to 50 people come up to us um, so that's just what it is, okay? I'm not I'm not saying it's terrible, but it was overwhelming to me and I felt like I had to keep a close eye on my kids. And so we just decided, ah, let's find a beach of the next one. We'll do some research on like what we need to do, maybe book an excursion with the cruise. So there's a lot of people on the docks trying to sell you excursions, basically, we'll go drop you off at a beach. But I was like, what if they just don't come back for us? Like they don't care. Um, so I got a little bit nervous about that. Anyways, we're back on the boat. Today is actually the Super Bowl, so we're gonna go get something to eat, the Windjammer, which is like the buffet area, and then we're gonna go up to the pool. The kids can play in the pool. The pool is gonna be nice and quiet, and we're just gonna go swimming and eat some food and watch the Super Bowl. I'm so tired. We're watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> Not a bad way. Not a bad way to watch the Super Bowl.
it is the Super Bowl and Lance is going for the Chiefs and the only thing red that I have are these socks that have his face on them. So I just came up here to get some dry clothes on because I went in the pool with the kids and um, I'm gonna surprise him with my socks. I don't know if he knows that I have them with me so <laughs> he may be surprised. <laughs> Everybody. Today we're going to be just continuing the vlog on because I did not vlog very much yesterday. We're in Mazatlan today. It's a little, it, it's not quite the view I was expecting. <laughs> it's a uh, very, I don't know, what do you call it? Industrial. industrial. It's very industrial. There's like new cars lined up and there's like boxes, but um, it is an absolute beautiful day. We are finding a beach. That was the goal yesterday, but it was just too much, too overwhelming in Cabo. And so we decided we're gonna we're gonna make it happen today. We're gonna be walking to the beach and taking like a water ferry, I think. Before we do that, we are gonna go get some breakfast uh, at the dining room. As long as the dining room's open, we're not really sure. You guys, the food is so much better in the dining room. It's completely free to go eat there versus the buffet style, which is like the wind jammer. It's called the wind jammer on here on Royal. But like the food quality was like night and day. We had the wind jammer yesterday for breakfast and I was like, mm, I'm spoiled. <laughs> We're gonna try the dining room if they are open, and if not, we'll end up with a wind jammer. It's not terrible food, okay? It's just buffet style, and it's totally fine, but when you have the option to go to the dining room and get a fancier breakfast with like orange juice, and the kids have the, the little wine glasses with orange juice, it's just like fancy, okay? It's a lot of fun because we don't get that when we're at home. <laughs> so our plan for Mazatlan is just to find a beach. We brought some collapsible buckets, we bought some shovels, and we're just gonna go enjoy the beach, some sunscreen. That's that's all we have planned. <laughs> I'm gonna catch crabs. Oh gosh. I'm gonna catch crabs and put them on you. <laughs> catch, catch and release, I guess. It is only 10 o'clock, only. <laughs> Honestly, we should be out in Mazatlan right now, but breakfast was fantastic. It's so much less chaotic than the buffet. I just, I just love it. Some of the food is the same, but it's just the setting is so much more peaceful and calm. We're currently trying to find Braden Seapass card because we don't know where it's at and we needed to leave the ship and to get back on the ship, so. <laughs> Looking for that. We think we think he brought it to breakfast this morning and left it on the table. Anyways, I am looking quite tan. Way more tan than normal. Feels good to get some sun, guys. Let's go get off this ship. Well, first we gotta find Brayden's car. <laughs> then after that, let's go explore Mazatlan. Are you ready? Oh yeah. Palm trees? Yeah. That's been so fun, huh? Let's see what it says. Mazatlan. That's where, that? that's where we're at right now. Mazatlan. Can you say Mazatlan? Mazatlan. 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 Yeah, good job. So guys, if you come here to Mazatlan, it is much more comfortable than Cabo was. There's still tour guides and stuff here, taxis, and they're still like offering you stuff, but they're 
not as pushy. They're not in your face. They're not like, when you say no, they just kind of like, okay, thank you and move on. Um, but, yes, and everybody's been giving us directions on where to go, which has been really nice. Um, we just want to see where the beach is. We're headed to Stone Beach and we're going to see how it is. Stone Island, I'm sorry. And we're just going to check it out. If it's nothing that great, then we will, you know, head back to the port and see if somebody can take us somewhere. But um, we're trying to do it as cheap as possible and hope for the best. We've got snorkels, we've got goggles. Um, I don't think the water is super great, but that's all right. I found a Cheap wing. and safe. That's what we're looking for. I found a wing when we were going inside the cruise. Oh yeah, he found it a ring fake. when we were in line for the uh, for the cruise to get on, and he was really excited. It was just a fake ring. Okay. La gente pobre que viene a ver con look at me. Oh my god. Mira, guacha, look at me. Very, very nice. Mira. One mango? How much? It's five dollars. Yes. Yes. Mira. Look, who was a mango? <laughs> oh my God, you know, very, very nice. Yeah, 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 YouTuber. Oh, are you YouTuber? A little bit, yeah. Uh, me. You have a YouTube yeah. channel. And, and, and TikTok, Facebook, YouTube. All of it? Yes. Oh, good. Pinche manguero. Okay, I'll look you up. Mira. Oh, mira, 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 mira. <laughs> look at me, oh my God, you know. <laughs> oh, look at me. English, nothing. Ay, papá, mira. ¿De dónde es? ¿Dónde estás? ¿De dónde Alaska. Saludo, Alaska. Amor, aló, Alaska. Es lo único que es en inglés. Cuido, <laughs> <laughs> papá. Eso es todo con amor y cariño. Aquí te. All right. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, thank you, you. Gracias. I'm pretty certain he was just making fun of me that entire time, so. But. Do you want to try it? Mango. It's a mango. You don't want to try it? <laughs> it's a mango and it's got, uh, I think like tahine and I don't know. I'm guessing it's pretty spicy. I'm, I'm excited. Oh. oh. Spicy? No, thank you. It's very spicy. It was $13 for guacamole, uh, two Cokes, and a drink for Lance. Um, best. We, we gave him 20 for just letting us use the table and all of that. A lot of fun. Uh, the sand, I will warn you, is like very fine sand, and it is everywhere. <laughs> like, 
you can't wash your feet off and keep them clean. But man, what a fun time. Totally worth taking the little, I don't even know. It was probably half a mile to get down here. Everyone made the walk just fine. And we're gonna go back to the boat, enjoy some, probably some downtime. That's so awesome. Let me see. something <laughs> we're all very sunburned she did not get burned you can really tell how burned I am um, I did a lot this one got burned I feel so bad <laughs> this one got a little <laughs> she got a tiny tiny around there I coated everyone in SPF 50 and I guess I should have reapplied it after I don't know they were just like in the water the whole time I don't know they actually wanted to stay longer at the beach and I was like ah no I, it looks like some of you are getting a little bit pink and then we got back here and as time went on we just were more burned so I feel really bad it was also a new brand of SPF it was like the banana boat um, like reef safe stuff so I don't know if it was just really bad SPF but we're not gonna use that one I don't think again we're really hoping that by tomorrow we get some good sleep and we're a little bit better anyways we are headed to dinner it is casual night so I am rocking my tropical shirt I actually bought this for a celebration of life for my old boss who always wore like Hawaiian -y shirts it is Mexican night at the dining room so we're excited to try some fancy Mexican. <laughs> oh, the fancy table again. Oh, and we're all casually dressed today. <laughs> Say hello. <gasps> oh. You say thank you. guys yesterday was kind of crazy um it is now the next day but uh we spent too long at the beach we were all sunburned i don't remember what i said we basically came back and just stayed in the room for a long time until we like got the energy to go down to the dining room and then like addison was so tired lance was actually kind of like seasick i think from the waves and just being dehydrated and it was just a night that we needed to recoup so um Lance and Addie went up to the room to go rest and then we finished dinner really quickly and came up here and we just all went to bed. We needed that. It was kind of a rough night sleeping. The wind was like absolutely insane last night. So because we have connecting rooms and it's a balcony, the balcony door is unlocked and it doesn't really latch super great. So the wind was just like opening it and closing it and opening it. And if you can see here, we basically, um, we were like shoving the table against it and then like stacking the chairs. That didn't work, that still popped open. I had to shove a washcloth in there <laughs> to get it to stay with everything shoved against the door. So I'm gonna end this one and we're gonna start the next day over again. We are in Porte Vallarta, I think is how you say it. I'm probably saying that incorrectly, but um, we are here today so we're gonna go explore. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like so you see the next videos. This has been an amazing trip and we are so grateful to be able to do this. We're looking forward to some sea days though. <laughs> this trip has been, um, it was sea day, sea day, port, 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 and then sea day, sea day. So 
three port days in a row is a lot. I wish there was kind of a gap there, but it is what it is. We're gonna go explore, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye!